Mark, pleasure to have you in here. Thanks for joining us today. Buongiorno. 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 No. Absolutely. It's a pleasure to be here. You know what? I was in Florence on a vacation several years back, and I, I came across these two gentlemen who uh, frequented that area of Italy at the same time. People probably don't realize that, but they were contemporaries, and uh, it was very interesting to think of possibly the two greatest, perhaps, painters and sculptors and and uh, other artists alive and walking down the same streets. You know, it's, it's unbelievable when you think about that. And many people don't really realize that they were contemporaries, that they actually, uh, they actually brought the best in each other. They were actually, most people don't know this, they were actually fierce competitors and they actually hated each other. They, they, they literally could not stand to be in the same room with each other. Um, da Vinci was tall and he was handsome, gregarious, and everybody wanted to be associated with Da Vinci. And they said he, he even sang beautifully. And Michelangelo was small and diminutive, and he actually said during his entire life that he hated the way that he looked. And yet and both of them created the most amazing art and, and uh, inventions as well, and, and certainly in uh, Da Vinci's case. But the right? thing that most intrigued me most about this is when you dig into their backstory and their back life, yeah. how they were brought up, how they viewed themselves in the universe, how they, what they were thinking of when, they, when, uh, when uh, Michelangelo was painting the, uh, the Last Judgment uh, in the Sistine Chapel. Amazing. And, it, what, and, it, and that's what you try to bring out in this show. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you. Uh, it's kind of an unusual show in a multimedia presentation to get you involved in the lives and and the character of the times through the eyes of these two very different gentlemen how did you how did you decide to create this piece of work you know what we, we were running the da vinci machines exhibition from florence italy right and, it, and that was actually here in bradenton right three years ago and what happened was the uh, uh the museum in florence sent me over the M michelangelo ex exhibition and then I, and actually to be honest with you, when we first brought the Michelangelo exhibition here to the, to the United States, it wasn't that popular, or I should say as well received as the Da Vinci uh, exhibition. So I was talking to him one day over in Italy, in Florence, and I said, what are we going to do? And I said, you know what, I said, you know what we're going to do is we're going to combine these two gentlemen. We're going to put them together, Da Vinci and Michelangelo, side by side. There was 10 seconds of silence on the phone. You know what they said to me? What? It's never been done before. You're kidding. That's I said, unbelievable. Well, I said, what do you mean it's never been done before? Yeah. So we got together uh, with this uh, video uh, production house in, in Denver, Colorado, and we put together movies and animations and codices, and we, and, and we brought their live story together, and we actually, started, we actually started doing it at the exhibition. And the actual tours itself at the exhibition got so popular, they would call in, because we had like about four or five do docents doing each tour. Uh, each day, because I couldn't do every tour. Oh, I love giving tours. And um, people would call into the exhibit. They say, you know what? We want to come to the exhibit, but there's this kind of crazy guy <laughs> that we told that he, we want him to give our tour. And so we literally, the first thing that ever happened to us, we started taking reservations to come to the tour a, at the exhibition. Oh, so then it was, so, then it, from there, it just, it, it kind of exploded. Well, there was so much material, obviously, with these two great titans of, of art. It must have been difficult to decide what not to include in the play. This is running for, what, the next uh, four yeah, days? Four days, right. But this is where it started happening, because we have a special thing just for the viewers here at ABC7. Tell us about that. We, we, when we started here uh, three years ago, uh, but right before we did the Van Wezel show, we, we, we did the interview with Scott Dennis. And from here on, it's been absolutely, we've been touring the United States. It's been so well received. We just uh, finished our, our first off-Broadway off -Broadway show Broadway, at yeah. the Triad Theater in Washington, in, in New York City, uh, 50 steps off Broadway. And, but f for the, I want to bring out though, just for your viewers here, if you, we have a special rate for you. If there's any remaining seats to any one of the four remaining uh, shows tonight, tomorrow night, two on Saturday, if they call in and you know what, we have a special code for them. You know what the code is? What is? Da Vinci. Oh, there you go. <laughs> we awesome. have the Da Vinci code. Oh, that's funny. Well, and they call in, call the manatee, call them on the phone. Call the manager, say what Da Vinci, hey, Mark was on ABC7 right. and said, yeah, I get two for one. Awesome. So any remaining Can't seats from here, you get two for one Fantastic. through the weekend, through all four shows. And you got to hurry because I know tickets are going fast. Thank you so and much. And you're going to join us, I think. On I would love to. What, a, what an amazing show and what, what an amazing uh, artist these two guys are. Well, were. we are so excited to be back here. We are well, so excited bringing you back here to the manatee. Thank you. Well, and it's going to be a great show. Really recommend folks go out and see it, right?